Today's high-performance servers have the power to handle a staggering array of workloads in a smaller form factor than ever before. Selecting a server with lower capital and operational costs is key to maximizing your IT infrastructure investment. If your server solution can offer high performance and lower power consumption, plus a lower cost of deployment, you get a faster return on your investment and a lower total cost of ownership. For example, consider a hypothetical company with an existing server infrastructure consisting of four socket 4U HP DL580 G7 servers. Suppose this company wants to take advantage of the increased density of the latest generation, four socket, 2U servers and are planning to move to one of two server solutions, an Intel Xeon processor-based HP DL560 or the Dell PowerEdge R815 with AMD Opteron processors model 6380. At Principal Technologies in our testing labs, we evaluated the performance and power usage of these two servers. On each server, we ran the same aggressive OLTP workload with 16 virtual machines processing over 30,000 operations per minute. Both servers handled the workload well, but the Dell PowerEdge R815 consumed less power during the test. That adds up to 15.8% more OPM per watt, which translates into significantly lower power costs for day-to-day -day operations. On top of those savings, we compared the initial cost to implement the two solutions. We found that the Dell solution cost 47.4% less per VM compared to the HP solution. Based in part upon these test results, we were able to determine that the Dell PowerEdge R815 with AMD Opteron processors model 6380 can deliver up to 28.8% lower three-year TCO than the HP ProLiant DL560 Gen 8. With those numbers, a company looking for a new four-socket, two-use server solution would be smart to choose the Dell PowerEdge R815. When you're ready to move up to your next server solution, Remember the high performance per watt, lower cost per VM, and lower TCO of the Dell PowerEdge R815 with AMD Opteron processors model 6380. To find out more, read the full test report at principledtechnologies.com.